Residents of all mobility levels can use the Rhapsody bathing system. However, a resident's mobility level will determine the type of lift most appropriate, such as a trolley, ceiling lifter or chair. This film offers guidance on transferring a wheelchair-bound resident to and from a Rhapsody tub using an Alenti hygiene chair lift. As part of an integrated bathing system, the Alenti allows the resident to sit safely and comfortably on the submersible seat throughout all stages of the bathing process. When transferring a resident to the Rhapsody bathing system, begin by preparing the bath. For further guidance, refer to the film Preparing and Using the Rhapsody Bathing System. When the bath is ready, transfer semi-dependent residents using the Alenti hygiene chair lift. Cover your resident in a towel and secure them in the Alenti, following all safety instructions. Raise the Alenti up to a height where both the chair and the resident can clear the edge of the bathtub. There should always be enough space for all of the resident's body to clear the edge of the bath. Assist the resident with moving his or her legs over the bath rim as you rotate the lift in place. Let the resident feel the water and adjust the temperature if needed. Center the chair over the bathtub until it stops against the bath. Ensure the lift is docked against both legs and the rim and activate the brakes. Adjust the lift to a comfortable ergonomic working height and find a position that allows for comfortable interaction. Once the chair is at the right height, Raise the bath so that the Alenti rests on the bottom of the tub. Take care to ensure that no parts of the resident's body become trapped between the bath and the seat. The combination of the Alenti chair and the Rhapsody bathing system allows for as much of the resident to be lowered into the water as possible. If the resident prefers and is capable, the backrest can be folded away. This will allow the resident to recline against the back of the tub and the pillow. A foot support can also be attached. After bathing the resident, open the drain to let the water run out. Move the backrest to its original position by having the resident place their hands on the handle and lean forward. To rinse the resident, press the water release and direct the water stream away from the resident. Remember to check the water with your bare hands. To keep the water flowing, press the lock button on the nozzle. To unlock, simply press again. After rinsing the resident with the shower, stop the flow of water by pressing the shower button on the control panel. You should remember to cover the resident with towels to keep them warm. You should now separate the Alenti seat from the bottom of the bath. The resident should continue holding on to the handle while you complete this task. To do this, either lower the tub to its lowest height or raise the Alenti. Dry the resident's upper body and the underside of the seat to prevent water from dripping on the floor. Take care to use separate towels. After placing a dry towel or bathrobe on the resident, lower the tub to its lowest height. Raise the Alenti high enough so that the resident can safely clear the rim of the bath. Assist the resident in moving their legs over the edge of the tub while rotating the lift away. Ensure sufficient side clearance between the bath and the hygiene chair lift. You may now release the brakes and reposition the resident away from the bath. For further guidance when using the Rhapsody bath, please see the additional guidance videos. In the event of questions at any point in the bathing or disinfection cycle, please consult the Rhapsody user manual or your Arjo sales rep.